In the previous lecture, we took a look at the VIF, VLSIF, and VLS directives. These directives add or remove elements from the DOM depending on the evaluation of expressions. What I want to show you now is a directive that shows or hides elements in the same fashion, namely the VSHOW directive. This directive works the same way as the VIF directive, except that the elements remain in the DOM and are only hidden by CSS. I have prepared a simple example with two paragraphs and a button in the template. The view instance has an isNinja boolean data property, which is switched when clicking the button. What I want to do now is to show the first paragraph if isNinja is true and show the second paragraph if it's false. To do that, I can simply enter the name of the data property in the vshow directives expression. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll enter vshow. And here for the expression, I'll just write is ninja, like so. I can do the same with the second paragraph, except that I will negate the boolean by prefixing an exclamation mark. So the same here, but exclamation mark is ninja. Note that I could also have used more complex expressions here, but these ones are sufficient for this example. Clicking the button now will switch from one paragraph to the other. If we take a look at the DOM through the browser's developer tools, we can see that the paragraph that is not shown actually has a style of display none. Clicking the button again, you can see that this style switches from one paragraph to the other depending on which paragraph's vshow expression that evaluates to false. So as you can see, the vshow directive shows or hides elements unlike vif which adds or removes them.